how are you doing out there? I've been reading your questions this morning, and even though we can never get to all of your questions in a broadcast, it's great because it gives me a sense of where you're at and what you're experiencing. Um, and it's interesting, a few of you talked about tiredness and just feeling wiped out. And there's a couple of truths for me around <laughs> feeling wiped out and tired. Number one, I think it's cyclical. I think for any of us, we go through periods where we don't quite have the same level of energy resilience that we perhaps do in other months, whether we have personal life things going on, whether the energetics of the world are tricky for us. You know, there's certainly never a shortage of things that can break your heart or challenge you about what's going on on planet Earth. So if you're a particularly sensitive empath, too many of those events at once can make you need to pull back a little bit in order to galvanize and stay centered in yourself. And then, of course, you have literal electromagnetic frequency shifts on the planet that we're constantly in, in change and flux with. So the tiredness to me is something that when it comes around, the more you can honor it, the better. I know sometimes we, we have very busy lives, we have demands, we have busy schedules. I've found that what I call a mini holiday is what I like to take if part of me looks at my next month and feel, you know, that you get those little, I get those little wish, wish thoughts where I go, oh God, I wish I could just have a week off. I wish I could just take a week off. And of course, any of us can take a week off if we really have to and if we can, if we can make it happen. Now, of course, yeah, certain employers wouldn't like that very much. I'm lucky that I am self-employed in that way. But I also have a schedule and I have responsibilities and to you, to my team. So when I have that little fantasy moment of, oh, I, I wish I could have a week off, I pay attention to it and I interpret it differently. And I go, oh, there's a part of me that just needs a bit more freedom, that just needs to feel freedom and space a bit more than I am. So how can I create that in small ways? Is it that one night when I finish my work day at 6 p.m. or whatever time it is, I just switch off from communications or being available to people? How can you just keep protecting what you need? Because I've learned that my mind's first idea of what I need is a great clue to what I actually need, but it might not be the thing. So for example, the fantasy of, oh, I wish I could have a week off. And then I, I go, no, this is not the week I can do that very easily without creating all kinds of disruptions. Um, so how can I create my little microcosmic windows of a week off? And for me, it can be as simple as going to bed at 6.30 p.m. with a book, uh, which is not what I do every day, but those pattern interruptions that we can do that are different, that can give us quiet time. And I get that many of you have kids and responsibilities, so you don't always have that kind of freedom, but finding ways to take it is really important, whatever that looks like for you. So the tiredness of, of late for me that I look at in the world, it's a couple of things. I always think that the January, February period on Earth historically and cyclically seems to be quite tricky. It seems to be a period where people are either worn out from everything that went on around December and Christmas. For many people, it can be overwhelming. Um, or just the seasonal changes that you're in, depending on where you live, can make you want to be very inward and conserve energy. So, you know, if you are tired and you're feeling tired of or by the world, can you just accept that and recognize that even if in your ideal world you wish you weren't or you wish you had more energy to bring to your life or to people or things, you don't right now. And what I've learned the hard way a few times is if I trust that, if I trust my body that's telling me, mm -mm, I don't want to go there, I don't want to do this, I don't want to bring it, then my body will recover pretty quickly. But if I go against my body and I drag it through obligations that I don't really feel aligned with or that, that I can't find my way to connect with, 
not only am I going to suffer, I'm usually going to deplete my energy. So for the few of you who are wondering about, wow, I just feel tired of the world right now, I would say I think that's pretty healthy. I think we all go through periods where we get a little tired of our life or the world or what's going on. The question is, can you nurture yourself through that in a way that really suits you? in a way that's going to make you feel good. And, you know, whether, whether it is get under the duvet and watch your favorite comedy show or whatever it is, just do it. Because the world is still going to be here when you come back from your tiredness. And it's still going to be going through all its cycles and doing all of its things. And I think sometimes for empathic or sensitively wired people, the overwhelm of this world can just be too much. And I think that it's not just you trying to recover from the world feeling like too much when you need to go into your shell and pull back. It's you training yourself to have balance and training yourself to go, yep, I can't worry about the world 24 seven or worry about all the people in my life 24 seven. So often we are being reorganized in those periods but the way that we've been conditioned culturally is to see tiredness as wrong or weariness as wrong. Now, by all means, if you think you have a serious fatigue, that's the time to look into it health-wise and to go, okay, which practitioners do I need to see to just check that everything's okay uh, with my, bo my body and my balance? But because several of you mentioned this in your comments, I, I would say to you that the, the best way I have found through those periods and that I see for a lot of people and my intuitive advice on it would be, it's okay. It's okay to be tired. It's okay to be tired of the world. I think it's quite normal to be tired of the world at times at the moment. And the most important thing is not so much your reaction, which is I'm tired, I'm tired of the world. It's your action. So when you have that reaction, what action can you take? When I think to myself, I'd like a week off, I now know, okay, you need to kind of create a mini holiday for yourself for three hours tonight. And then I wake up the next day and I'm like, oh, okay, that was enough. I got enough oxygen. Now I'm so, and by the way, I'm, I'm also a big advocate of take a week's holiday if you can, when you can. And usually for me, it's a signal that, okay, I need to look ahead two or three months and kind of create some space. And often when I do that, just because I can feel it's coming on the timeline, I relax a bit and go, okay, good, There's, that period is coming. So for those of you that are feeling a little world weary, lean into the good stuff. For me, it would be, okay, I need to put on some Deva Pramal and Maten, or I need to laugh, or I need to speak to that specific friend, because that specific friend and I, we always get each other, we can always just talk really honestly. So small, regular remedies are self-care and are vital. As the Z's said many years ago, self-care is not a luxury, it's a necessity. And as the world keeps changing and we keep changing, we have to keep changing our methods. For those of us who are sensitive, intuitive, or walking a spiritual path, it is our practices and the support that we have in our life that often is the key to how well we can walk through life. Nine years ago, I created the portal to be an answer to that need for members of my community who wanted to go more in depth with my work. And while my work is still very much a centerpiece of the portal, we have now added other teachers, other voices, other offerings, so that the portal can become a well-rounded place for you to receive nourishment and be uplifted, shifted and supported every single month. My aim with the portal has always been to offer you as much value for your membership as possible. And I feel like in the last year or so, we have really been able to maximize that. So we look forward to welcoming you to the portal. And we hope it is a place that can nourish your mind, your body and your soul.